Hello everybody, welcome to the quick tip video for the supporting edges for subdivision surface modifier in Blender. Well, for example, I will make very simple and generic object to show you what I'm talking about. Well, you make want to make something like this with loop tools, circle, it's good and you are happy with this shape but you want made it smooth at modifier subdivision surface for example for two iterations and now you can uh, make some supporting edges to actually control the strength of the uh, subdivision surface or the shape of the beveling on corners as you can see just with Control R, it will loop cut the loop of edges. But you will sooner or later run to two problems. First of all, you are uh, making a lot of unnecessary geometry. Uh, for example, here I don't need support uh, this edge because there should actually don't be any beveling. It should continues right where it is and here my geometry follows to the uh, circular uh, shape and it will change it as you can see it will make beveled uh, six gone uh, instead of circle shape well how can avoid it and even make uh, the distance of these uh, edge loops uh, constant through all your mesh uh, it's actually very easy with control Z I will move back a few steps and I will put supporting edges only where I need them so I will go to edge select mode select one of the edges and shift G and face angles and it will select uh, everywhere I have 90 degrees angle uh, if I want some threshold it's in the settings in the T panel of this select similar which is this shift G and I know I want to support these edges as you can see it will not split uh, d this uh, edge loop or this edge or anything or this edge that I definitely don't want support anyhow because I want actually the smooth uh, rounded follow of the subdivision surface and I will just go to W and bevel and I already ha have it set to supporting edges and you will get something like this a chamfered object with triangles, some quads and this is not what you actually want to get and supporting edges uh, is nothing more than increase segments to 2 and profile to 1 and it will exactly keep the shape of the mesh you had before but it will only add the supporting edges wherever you want them and uh, note uh, or big warning uh, this operation should be the last one you you will make because it's uh, hard to make another geometry and add uh, some uh, new supporting edges uh, when you mess uh, with already done ones so you can add uh, any geometry for example on these faces or, or on this face but you can really mess with this uh, face flow because it already uh, contain uh, supporting edges once so it would be uh, hard to clear it after new extrusions or new modifiers and uh, more well but you can be happy with the result it's actually good for uh, even animation or 
just render but maybe for exporting or for some deformation or for any other reason you may want this object uh, just quads only and this method actually makes some angons like here uh, every time the uh, beveling is concave or convex I'm not really sure but this this shape it will make uh, six polygon uh, six sides polygon uh, on the corner and every time uh, you had before vertex with odd numbers or odd number of uh, edges connected to him uh, it will create triangle there where first of all you can easily miss these angons in uh, large or very very complex uh, shapes or meshes so how to find them just select one edge uh, one face that is quads you definitely know it's quad hit shift G it will select similar and choose polygon sides and it will select all quads with control I you can invert the selection and it will select for you just the angons and triangles so you know this is what you have to clean or repair and if you somewhere else just hit the period on the numpad and it will uh, view the selection all these things are also uh, somewhere in the menu uh, align view to active I believe or to view selected here you can see it well and how to uh, remove these well every time you have this uh, six sided polygon just choose one of the vertex vertices uh, best is always to uh, select the one that is in the bevel and uh, it doesn't matter which side you get but go one two three for it select the other one with shift so they are selected both and it J to split this six gone and it will make two uh, quads so you don't have to worry about it anymore uh, same thing again on the other side just these vertices J and it's done and triangle uh, it has three sides you can tell because it's triangle but one of these sides always face to some angon uh, as here this side faces to this angon this is not quad it's I believe again six, six sided yes it's six sided but it doesn't matter this is faces to angon so I can freely collapse this and you will do it by alt M and uh, at center is uh, most general and works in pretty much every case but sometimes at last it's better because you keep this line where it should be it's uh, for subdivision surface or for anything else it really doesn't matter where this vertex will be on these edges but perhaps for texturing uh, you will have some seams here it's better to have it where you want and it will create triangle again so you will apply the same operation S uh, same operation is applied with shift R so it will make the same thing and uh, you can travel through these triangles uh, as long as you will find this angon and it will close up or well close up and in the other side you can do the same thing and it should get rid of this angon if not this angon will always have the uh, even number of vertices so you can always uh, divide it somehow to quads and just for uh, control if I have quads only select one quad shift G polygon sides invert selection and nothing is selected 
so I am happy with it and I shouldn't do any other modification but what if I really need to I should uh, keep away from uh, all my supporting edges so I should make changes only on these faces not on the corners so for example I can make hole here just extrude with E right mouse button W loop to circle circle is really good tool because it is actually setting up for radius so you have precise modeling inside of edit mode you don't have to add new uh, circle to be able to set its radius and just extrude it inside so I didn't change anything from the supporting edges I will just turn off the subsurf to see what I'm doing select only again the edges I want to support so I want sharpen for the subdivision surface hit W bevel it will keep the settings from the previous one so segments to 2 profile 1 and if I turn on subdivision surface voila I am happy and I don't have any uh, unnecessary geometry everywhere else so I hope this uh, you can f uh, you will find this helpful uh, I can show you uh, where you can use it this is actually done with this method as wall object so you can see uh, it's it's not applicable only on the cube and some general uh, shapes but you can make supporting edges really on I could say very complex uh, object but definitely on not really organic object it's uh, better for some industrial parts and where you want the precise beveling and so on well I hope you will like it you will use it in your own project it will help you and because it's uh, longer than I thought it would be as just quick tip so uh, I'm looking forward to s see you again and thanks for watching and bye